All right, everybody, this is Queen Tajay back with another video. I will be showing how I do my 3D flowers as best as I can. Actually, I think I want to move this just a little bit. Maybe, maybe if I put it up and down. Yeah, I will be showing how I do my 3D flowers. I mixed acetone and monomer together so that my bead of acrylic would dry a little faster. And this is Mia's Secret, which is why it's so patchy. Um, I normally use C-Tone's acrylic and... Um, <clears throat> and um young nails but for the sake of the video and you know not wasting my good products i will be using me a secret and this is cnd i believe yeah cnd is pretty good to me so i'm gonna pick up a pretty nice size bead okay and laying it down. Now, because I added acetone to my monomer, my beads are not running away from me at all. Like, I can work with them. They're drying, but not too fast. If you want them to dry faster, you can put more monomer. Um, I am new to making 3D flowers, so I don't want them to dry too fast because then I personally will not be able to handle them. And I'm getting bigger beads because it's a long nail. So I want it to actually look right. But this one, see that beat was too dry. I just got more monomer. And now I am pushing. And I'm using all, every angle of my brush, every angle. And just flattening it out. The more I push down, the flatter the petals are. See that? Okay. And it's going to be ugly until you build it up. So do not worry. I know you're like, okay, that's not cute. I know, girl. We're, we're not done. See, that's too dry for me. So... Again, you don't have to put acetone in your monomer. I just learned that from Mickey Nails, the owner of um, C-Tone's Acrylic. And so, yeah, that's how I've chosen to, um, to do my 3D flowers. Again, you do not have to. You don't have to put anything, but it just helps. With the drying process. See, it's starting to look a little like something. Not quite a flower yet, more like a clover, but we're gonna get there, okay? So don't judge as of yet. And I try to get the same exact beads, but sometimes it don't happen that way. This time I did get the bead size that I wanted, but honestly, it doesn't happen all the time for me. So I just work with what I pick up and I just imagine how I want it to look. Okay. And I'm not sure if you notice now, but I realized that with the first set of petals, I was, I was picking up a drier bead so this time around, I am making sure I have enough liquid, enough monomer, not too dry, not too wet, but just enough that I can work with these second petals because if they're too wet, they will blend in with the first set. And I do not want that. Um, I have had that happen before and still to this day, um, Sometimes I'm able to catch it and kind of fix it. Other times I am unable to catch it and fix it. So this flower is actually coming out how I want it to. Again, the thing about flowers in nature, they're never the same. That's what Mickey says. And I take that to heart because sometimes 
the flowers I do, I do not like. And I try to, you know, scrape them off the nail if they're really bad. And sometimes I just leave them. And most of the time, actually all the time, my clients love them. But I'm so hard on myself when it comes to nail art that I'm just like, okay, I have to get this off your nail and do something else. And they're like, no, I love it. You know, leave it alone. So try not to be too hard on yourselves because your clients do feel that energy. And if they love it, then leave it alone. You do not have to like everything you do on a client's nails. You just have to make sure you execute the design that they want correctly. Make sure you're using good products. Matter of fact, not even good, great products that are legal. EMA instead of MMA, okay? MMA is an illegal product that a lot of these one-stop shops use. And I know you're thinking, okay, well, if it's so illegal, why are they using them? Um, one, because it's cheaper. Two, because state board only comes like once a year, if that, okay? So give me one minute. I bought this from Walmart. I bought this from Walmart. So I'm just gonna use this as a detail for my leaf, okay? Sometimes I have lint on it, so actually, excuse me, I'm sorry. And that is a 3D flower now. <laughs> 